Hello, welcome to the Monday, November 2nd, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. On Friday, Xavier took a look at the adoption rate for the CAA DNS record. Uh, CAA is short for Certification Authority Authorization, and it essentially it tells certificate authorities if they are authorized to issue certificates on behalf of the domain. Now, whenever we talk about TLS vulnerabilities, we often get lost in these highly technical weaknesses in the TLS protocol, which actually are hardly ever exploited. On the other hand, there have been a number of high profile issues with certificate authorities being tricked to issue a certificate for a particular domain without actually properly verifying that request. So the CAA record in that sense is actually preventing some real attacks in that a certificate authority will first check that record to make sure that it is authorized to issue the certificate and it will otherwise reject to issue a certificate. So this record is not checked by browsers as they verify a certificate. It's only checked by certificate authorities. Well, some of the bad news here, not a lot of domains are using it. Xavier only found 3% of Alexa's top 1 million domains using a CAA record. I believe one reason why organizations are hesitant in using the CAA record is that they often, in addition to self-hosted websites and certificates, are taking advantage of content delivery networks or CDNs. And these CDNs will now request certificates on behalf of that organization. And then, of course, you need to include whatever certificate authority the CDN is using, which may not always be that clear. And then you have sort of, again, that trade-off between a denial of service or a potential machine in the middle attack with someone issuing a bad certificate. Another issue, of course, and I'm not sure how widespread that still is these days, but uh, there have been some domain registrars that had no provision to actually add a CAA record uh, to a particular domain. I hope uh, that has become the exception at this point, but uh, this could also be a problem in addition to, of course, just missing awareness that this record exists. For more details, including what set of authorities are the most popular among people using this record, well, take a look at Xavier's post. And then we have a new unpatched vulnerability in Windows that can be used for privilege escalation. Google originally found and reported that problem to Microsoft on October 22nd, but also observed exploitation of this vulnerability in the wild, which is why Google went forward and did release details about this vulnerability. With the post that Google released, there is a lot of detail that should make it relatively straightforward for someone that knows what they're doing to write an exploit. But then again, this already has been exploited before Google released these details. A patch may be released as soon as November 10th, which is the upcoming patch Tuesday. But no need to panic, it's just a privilege escalation. And in order to exploit it, an attacker already needs to have access to the system. And Trend Micro has an update on a group that they are calling SLUB, uh, short for Slack and GitHub or Operation Earth Kitsune. Now, uh, this particular group does compromise uh, targeted websites, so kind of a waterhole attack where you target a website at a certain group of people that you're actually targeting is likely going to visit. The vulnerability that they're sort of specializing in is one in the GNU board content management system version four or five. Once they compromise the website, then they use browser exploits against Google Chrome or Internet Explorer in order to then compromise visitors to these particular websites. 
And it appears for some of their command control, they're using the Mattermost messaging system. And for additional details, see the link in the show notes. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening. And as usual, if you're interested in any of the classes I'm teaching, again, in the show notes, you will see some links at the lower part of the page. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.